Hello everybody, Nathan here, and today we are looking at a couple builds on the Extreme Survival server. Actually, it's more of like a whole town. We've got this gigantic electric supply system here. Beautiful little lighthouse, um, a farm with some animals in it. Uh, but first we're going to take a look at the Braxton School of Logic. Come inside and discover logic gates and other circuits. So let's see what we have. We have an oscillator, three times faster than a monkey pair. And I'm still trying to figure out how this works. So I see there's a... Up is slow speed. Which doesn't seem to move at all. And down isn't crazy fast. Okay, so that is different than this. I don't understand how this works. Three times faster than a blinky plant. But how does it work? I see a muscon torch and some wires, and that flips this layer. I don't understand how that works at all. All right, well, let's take a look at the OR gate, and we want to be focusing on this light here. So we turn one on, and it lights up. Turn it off, turns off. Turn one on, it turns on. Turn both on, it stays on. So this will work if either or both are on, the signal will go through. We have a NOR gate, which stands for not OR. So when they're both off, it lights up. When one is turned on, it turns off. When the other is turned on, it stays off. So this one only functions when both switches are turned in the off position. We have a, what is this, set reset flip-flop, okay, so that's set, and that one turns off, I'm confused, so the switch is off and the left light is on, switch is on, the right light is on, switch is off, the left light is on. Okay, so it pretty much just switches which light's lit. Um, double switch. Up disables output from chest, down begins transfer of materials to chest. So we have something going out. Or wait, no, stuff's going out now. Okay. Material router. The use of a sticky piston allows us to move materials from one chest left to one of two chests right. Routing switch. Material goes up into front chest. Okay, so this basically changes where the material goes, and it does that by pushing the piece of pipe work to change which pipe it outputs into, which is creative. I would not have thought of that. Here we have a... Um, a rail cart that does two things actually. It is first off powered by the Mescon torch there, but every time this rail cart goes over this track, it turns the light on. When it's not glitching out, it does. Um, it looks like some stuff is still being built here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Totally all getting up in his face. Not gates. I don't think that's built yet. Um, okay, it's turned off. So it just, it pretty much flips it around backwards. And what do we have here? And gates, I'll put off when both switches are on. So, both switches are off and it's lighting. One switch, it's still lighting. Two switches, it turns off. And then we have this thing back here, which is just going crazy. So that's some of the basics. I'm sure there's other stuff because it looks like he is still building. So I'll let him get back to building in peace. And we're going to take a look at some of the other cool things out here. Let's see what we have in here. Cobblestone and stone, take what you need. Unconfigured auto crafter. What in the... It's a lot of oil extracts. Oh, wait. I was looking at the wrong... My bad. Looking at the wrong chest. Here we have uh, gravel. 
gravel and cobble. Which I'm sure is all being created by random stuff. This is... Okay, it won't open for me. Say, so it looks like it's a LV item. But maybe it's not. A bunch of inactive furnaces, a safe. Okay, boring, boring, boring. I wanted to see where this power I was running to. So basically what they've done here is created a supply of virtual unlimited power. And then it's done by using the... Um, what are these guys called again? These are... Oh, geothermal generators. And these operate by having lava on one side and water on the other. And then cables running along the sides to collect the power. And these are generating at 100%. This tall stack of them is all generating. I'm assuming this is, gets up converted to MV someplace. But a lot of this is all hidden underground. Which I understand why you would do that. The lighthouse I don't think you can get into. It's just there. And blinks on and off. Pretty much around the clock. And it does that with the use of a blinky plant. And then there are some lights in there. Uh, we got a nice little garden going there. Which looks like it's just a standard garden. Not an auto harvesting type thing. Okay, I'm assuming that's for future buildings. This is part of that again. We've got a field here with snow in it. I'm assuming that was not something that they built. A gajillion lights. Like, this is a lot of torches, guys. Mmm, I'm hearing something coming. Uh, miner's land. This is miner. This is all locked up, so we can't see anything there, which is... What? Unless I'm mistaken, that was a dragon. <sighs> run, 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 run. This is why it's dangerous. Dude, that's not even a... No! And the bird is gone. Good. And my boots didn't fit? Oh, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, because I was... I was... Um, whatever, I was wearing this stuff, so... When it got chucked into my bones, I did not have space. All right, let us figure out. We were just invited into Bill R's basement. Um, so I'm going to follow this guy over. Oh, wow, they got some more geothermals going here. Wait, where do you get? How, how do I get there? Um, Bill R's cottage. Hey. It's not cool. Wow, a lot of furnaces. Compressors. Switching station. Basement. Okay, I expected to see him in his basement. How would... Oh, that's how they did it. Okay. And that's providing a bunch of... Oh, wait, maybe he's in this room. Here we go. So this is all... He's got automatic sorting and processing. All right, let's see here. So, is this... Yeah, so this is his power. So yeah, we have all of these low-voltage geothermals, which are then running all underground, running into this system here, which is a supply converter, which is then up-converting to all of the medium-voltage stuff, which is all sitting right there. Tool workshops, centrifuges, um, battery box, which has very little power, which I'm kind of honestly surprised at. Its power is dropping. So he's running something, which makes sense, but why is that going down? I don't. Supply converter has no network. Hmm. Well, whatever. Somehow that is all rigged. <clears throat> and then we have the 
Ooh, processing room down the hall. Let's go. This hall? Where? I don't... I don't see anything. I took the wrong door, didn't I? Ah! Wrong door. Alright, so let's take a look at his processing room. This is... A... Oh, dude, I like the crystal balls. Everything here is pretty much done automatically for him. So... I like the teleport tubes. Um, let's see. A lot of injectors, grinders, chests, tubes. This is all stuff that you can create yourself with just a little bit of work. He is throwing out dirt, mossy cobblestone, and pumice. Um, he's got a basalt machine here, which let's take a look at. There's a node breaker there. I don't know how quickly this thing's running. Node breaker, lava, water. Lava and water touch, they make basalts. Node breaker probably detects it, breaks it, harvests it, goes into a pipe work someplace. Oh, he told me to flip the switch. Let's see what happens when we flip the switch. Let's get to position where we can uh, where we can see both. I can't see both. It's flipped. Um, okay, there it goes. Broke it. Places it. Boom! Unlimited supply of basalt. Now, I don't know exactly what you use basalt for, but that is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Are these all auto creators? Yep, all auto crafters. And I'm assuming these are taking inputs in. Uh, these are all... Whoops, not that... Yeah, this is teleportion tubes. So this will shoot stuff to to places sending things back and forth to all of these auto crafters basically this just makes everything form and then he just has a bunch of chests where he grabs his stuff out of the end oh okay so this basalt uses that oscillator that we looked at in the other room um yeah this is it's a really nice setup. Uh, I know on, I think it was a survival server, D. Kelly did something very similar with this. And yeah, everything is just... Because the thing with tubes is you can't really control how they connect. If there is a tube next to them that they can connect to, they'll connect to it. So using these teleporting tubes you can much easier maintain areas and build stuff on smaller scale without having to have bajillions of just empty spaces where you have tubes running so things don't get connected with each other. Um, yeah, basically it looks like he has what I'm going to build. Um, he, I, I'm looking at the chat here. He says he has a dump chest when he comes back for mining. So basically he goes mining and just drops, whoop, um, let me get out of his way. Just drops everything into a chest someplace. And then from there, it, um, it pretty much just processes everything for him. Which is cool. That is, that's what you want to do. He is over here. Let me find out where he's going. Um, where, where did he go? I lost him. Bill, I lost you. Oh, he was picking up a a plate for some reason I, I don't know I'm not trying to get in your way there sorry um, so yeah he just dumps everything into a chest and then everything gets processed automatically evidently he also has a quarry that is teleporting to here doubtless it connects to this system right here which I am confused He's got... Oh, there's no demand on it right now. But he has a supply of 9,000 going to this high voltage. I don't know if that is going through the low voltage and up uh, up converting. But, yeah, that is... This is really impressive. And again, this is on the Extreme Survival server. So this is all, you know, like, not creative where you can just give stuff. This is... You have to harvest all of these resources and protect yourself while you're out there doing it. So yeah, this is this is good work.
Really good work, Bill. Uh, we're going to go take a look at Braxton's stuff. Alright, so let us exit through here, figure out... Go to the first floor. So yeah, one of these chests here... This chest, maybe? No. I don't know. The chest must not be right here. But yeah, he pretty much just dumps his stuff someplace. This is cool, too. They put lava underneath these little stones, so it's safe to walk over. Chest by a tree. They did a ton of nice road work, too, which I feel like is underappreciated. Like, people need to see this and know what this is like. This is beautiful. Nice, smooth slopes. Walkways with lighting. Uh, and this has pretty much all been made by, I think, two or three guys. I kind of want to ride this, but I don't think it's going to work too well. Warning, lion contains dragons, ghosts, and lava. Okay. Maybe we should... Uh, they want five bucks for it? Sure. Bada boom, bada boom. I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and go to third person view here. So we have a, like a subway. Very nice, very nice. Going through a dark tunnel. Uh, my screw view is all screwy there. So underground. I don't know if this even really goes anywhere. Seems to be... Whoa, whoa. Going down, going down. Underwater. And then we go back up. Yay! Ugh. And then we go back down. Because I guess up was up was boring. And then we go across. I love what people build with these rail cars. Whoa, whoa. Love what people build these rail cards. So many creative things. Hey, we seen this before. That was the little subway station right there that I stayed at for a night. And we run through going up and up uh, all these little lights off on the side those are all uh, Mescon torches providing the little yellow tracks with power which is how we just keep traveling uh, looks like there were some deserted carts on the rail it's kind of weird going back up running underwater oh yeah the underwater house I was there for a while Spent the night, I believe. Some more in a cave. Um, I... We are out. Okay. Um... Man, this is why I don't play in third-person view. This is... This is horrible. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and jump back to normal first person view. Mythos state. He is, I'm assuming that's Mythos, Mythos? I, 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 I don't know. You'll have to comment on some of my videos. Player detector? Which unfortunately, anybody can put their own words in there. It's kinda dumb how that works. Okay, so this is a totally different place. Teleporter room. I don't want to get lost, though. So we're going to hop back on that train, I guess. And ride right back. Assuming I can remember how to get there. Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Hop in the cart. Flip the switch. Flip the switch again. And off we go. 
And we get to watch it all over again. Yay! Man, I'm telling you, uh, we need we need some kind of better better animation. This is so jerky. But that's because the the server and the client don't communicate super super quick enough. So sometimes the cart will go further than it should, and because some is calculated client side, it goes past what it should be going because it's not actually following server side rules, which I don't really understand. I know there's work being done on it to make client side Lua possible, which would theoretically get rid of a lot of these problems. Oh boy. I think I'll get in here. Oh, this goes right below the roadway. Right on top of this, that's the road that I walked on. I don't remember if I did that on video. I think I did it all off video. And there's a giant something right there. But I don't know what. Is that the... That's the PvP arena. Hey, I, uh... I didn't really take an active part in building that. But I, uh... Yeah. When we set the server up, I was... I was there. I'll, we'll put it that way. I was there. I didn't do any building not of that i built other things some stores and little farms things that whoa whoa i don't think anybody ever found but whatever it's all right <clears throat> wait what is this why is there another cart with nobody in it i'm overtaking it i ran through it no i just bumped it all right let's Let's get out of there and pick that up. Nope. Oh, man. I think you have to use a pickaxe. Which... Here we go. No, don't. Ah, whatever. It was five bucks. That's a more dangerous path. I don't like danger. So we're going to stay off that path. And let's see. Let me just ask him quick. I really don't want to just go trap. So this is his geothermal here. I just asked him on iron. See, we'll see what he says. I don't want to just go walking through people's houses looking at stuff if they don't want me to. It's uncool. It's not being respectful. Especially if you're doing it on YouTube. I mean, come on. You gotta show some respect on the YouTubes. Oh, and he has a single low voltage solar panel. Supply some power, but when you've got this, why do you need that? Whatever, we are going to uh, hopefully not get hurt doing that. Onto the wheat fields. I've seen something over here I want to take a look at. Uh, up this super steep, steep path. What is this now? So we've got like a little garden here. Oh, this is Unks. Cactus juice for sale. Okay, so those are all stores. And let's run up the stairway. I'm assuming this is... Unk's hideaway. He's got the same thing going. He's got a geothermal system set up there. That is... It's a door leading back outside to a walkway and a garden type area. I'm assuming this is a, yep, a wheat field. Very nice, very nice. Um, all right, well, let's, let's run back over to Braxton's real quick. He said, okay, sure. So I'm 
Just gotta figure out where he is relative to me here. Can I hop this wall safely? We're gonna thought try it. Um. Okay. Maybe not very safely, but we did it. Skirt around the wheat field this time. Oh, wow, he's got, um, there we go. So we've got a very similar top loader speed switch. Green slow speed, red fast speed. Uh, so basically a lot of processing, just like the other thing. Pull stuff out of the chests, runs through grinders, into a furnace. Um runs that into this little guy here which I don't know what that is oh that's a uh, just tube for a while so it looks nice um, it's got a force field what bunch of high voltage medium voltage bunch more auto crafters got this green slow speed red fast speed so that's using his oscillator stuff we were looking at over in the the other area I don't know if I was supposed to follow him what, 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 what? <laughs> here's all the the logic behind how this works couple pressure or pistons this switches around tubing for where stuff's going this is crazy complicated, man. I don't... Unless I built it, I wouldn't understand it. Alright, we'll run back out. Assuming I can get through. I think it's running now. Yep, it is processing things. I don't know why that door is cycling. Ah, uh, I think the door is cycling because there's a circuitry going on back there. Red items going to gold chest, items going to source, chest above itemized filter injector, routing switch. So he's got everything explained out here for himself, which is good. Lighthouse maintenance at. So you can get to the lighthouse. I thought maybe you could somehow. What do we have here? Place all garbage in chest. If lamp is on, trash is disabled. Press switch to flush chest. An anvil for repairing things. It's good. It's very good. No trespassing jail cell. Okay, well, I'm not going to touch that. No worries. Not looking to go to jail. Also open store. Try the garbage. Okay, well, let's put something in the garbage. Oh, well, never mind. I guess we won't. He put something in for us. Flamp is on. Press the switch. I'm assuming this is our switch. Nope. Um. There we go. And then we press it again. It's all gone. Where did it where did it go? Hmm. Definitely works. All that good all that good cobble though, man. What a waste. I'm I'm kidding. Steel blocks for something. Whoa, he oh. What what are you what are you doing? This is how everything works. A trash can. Whoa! This is like totally a behind the scenes look. Let me put a torch in my hand. Oh, it's not going to light it up. Uh, so complicated. Wow, 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 wow. A lot of... A lot of thought and creativity, man. Okay, so that's underneath that school. Ah, oh, recessed lighting. That's something to try. I always put the lighting on the face of the blocks. That is, that is genius. 
All right. Um. Looks like he wants me following here. Oh, is this what that does? It doesn't go anywhere, dude. Or is this the jail cell? This is his jail cell, I bet. That <laughs> was the jail cell. <laughs> But oh well, he let me out, so that was good. And you could always get out by just typing in home. Jail cell, no trespassing. Yeah, don't, because you get stuck. Catches them so I can talk to them and give them stuff. I, how would, why would people even come in here? Like, how would they know? How would they know to ever find this? Well, I think I think the audio on this is probably going to be all over the place, but I'm going to be doing a lot of editing to clip it up and stuff. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't have any issues there. Okay. Well. Uh, engineering lab. Whoa, that's a lot of computer stuff. Lots of cables and wires. What is this? These are just tables or something with electrical outlets? Not seemingly. Ooh, but he's got one of these machines. Wait, that's just a tool chest. Never mind. Thought that did something. Started working on gates here water little lava pit with a little table ledge on top of it seemingly a mine over there not much really here right now though so we'll see what he says and potentially travel further Lots of cables. Lots of cables. Lots of things going on. Medium voltage, high voltage, low voltage. Fortunately, these wires won't connect to each other, so you never have to worry about those connecting to things they shouldn't. Because they won't. Plus, the electricity just travels through the cables. It doesn't do anything special. I do like that somebody is playing my test here. And they have my tests website open there. And I hadn't noticed this before, but there's my test logo as the side of that computer case. Very cool. Very cool. Are we are we going down or or not down? The rest is all mines and such. Okay. Mine at thirteen. Just your standard stuff here then. Mines and mines. Exit back out of there. And again, admire the beauty of this. Again, this is on the Extreme Survival server. I've probably mentioned that like nine or ten times by now. But just want to make sure you know where this is. Yeah, where does this go? I didn't really follow this. Um.
They recommended we check out Mythus' estate. So, oh wait, this just follows the rail, doesn't it? It does. Okay. Well then, we will head home. And, uh, that stupid bird is still here. Like, why has that thing not died yet? There. No, I think it's still alive. It's stuck in the house. I don't want a stupid bird in my house. You dumb beast, get out of there. Instead now. Okay, well, I'm going to... Whoops. Set home here, so now when I teleport home, I actually go to my house instead of across the pond. And yeah, we will get this edited up and check out things another day. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, nathansalpat.com, and see all my videos there. A really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's, it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request a View button right there. It takes you to a form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit, but... Hey, do it anyways. There's, you got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.